Hi everyone, welcome back again. So in this video, I'm going to list out some VS Code extensions that's going to make your Django journey super easy. You understand? So without further ado, we are getting started right now. You understand? So okay, over here, I have this. I have my I have a Django project open here. So I'm going to I'm going to show you some extensions on VS Code you need to install. You understand? That's going to make code. It's going to it's going to make coding in Django fun and easy. You understand? So go down to your left search, go, go, go down to the left panel you can see we have some icons on the left panel at the fifth icon is the extensions you understand so it's the extension panel you get so if you over around this icon you're gonna see a tool tip that says extensions you get so click on it once it's, once you click on it now you'll be you see some extensions you already have you can see over here these are some of the installed extension that I have on VS Code they are for the, I, have for the, I have 42 installed extensions currently okay now for your Django project now so the first extension I recommend you to install is called Python you understand Python just search for that Python so it's super important to have this extension installed so it's going to load up so is this first one that says IntelliSense Python IntelliSense you get so click on it so you need to install this extension is super important you can see it has over 99 million downloads that's huge you understand so if you scroll down i'm gonna let me just bring the terminal down a bit if you scroll down you can see like okay i'm, I'm gonna show you the features right now okay so over here you can see it, you can see it says a, v, a vs code extension with which support for the python language for all actively supported versions of the language instance so including features short as such as intellisense linting debugging instance so this extension is super important instance so as a jungle developer is an is a must you have this extension instance so currently i have it installed it says currently it says uninstalled that's because i write that's because i already have it installed so as, as a jungle developer make sure you have this python this python vs code extension installed this time is super important so the other extension i'm going to recommend is called django intellisense so come over here and let's type it django intellisense intellisense i think i'm going to suggest that for me okay i think it's up here this is over here let me just increase it you can see it's django intellisense so click on it so make sure you have it installed is super super important so let's scroll down it helps to okay you can see this extension provides auto complete for all dynamic properties generated by django so i'm going to show you an example right now i'm going to go down to my okay to my models.pyfy so right now i want to import let's say i want to import user creation form i will just come over here and say import user creation form click on this and it's having imported for me let's, uh, let's assume I want, to, I want to import django user model just come down here and say import and you say user and click on this here it's imported for you don't you don't, you don't, you don't need to memorize all this stuff with django intelligence all this importing have been done for you it helps you auto complete them you don't have to stress yourself to remember Let's, let's get user from let's get user creation from let's get your reverse or your time zone with intelligence all these things have been made super easy for you understand so there's one more thing again i'm going to show you okay still on intelligence so i'm going to show one more thing go down to your views at pyfy to your views i'm going to put my views at pyfy okay here is it now so let me just create okay i could just come here and say let me just say okay i have i have a model called blog so i'm going to simply just let me just okay I'm going to create a new view. Let me just say dev. I'm going to say e index i a m d e x and then request. So if you're not subscribed, do I subscribe? I have more interesting tutorials coming up. So if you don't want to miss out on if, if you don't want to miss out on my future videos, subscribe. It's free instead. So thank you. Okay. So now if I here now. So I have I have a model called blog in my model.py file. There is the model. You can see it's called blog. You can see the model over here. So with IntelliSense now, I can just come here and say blogs should be equal to blog dots. Once I use this dot there, I'm going to have some suggestion. What is happening? Then I spell it well. Blog dots. You can see now I have 
some of the feuds from this blog model and this is being done by intelligence again so I, I don't need to go back to my models to go and check what fields I declared in the blog model so with intelligence now it suggests it can help me also complete this thing so so with, with intelligence now you don't need to so you can you have access to your models in your views in your views of by five with intelligence again so that's how it is it gets it, it helps you to perform auto completion you understand so i told you before you don't need to let's assume i want to import http response i could just come here and say import http response click on this i import for you you understand so that's that so that's about in django intelligence so the next one i'm going to the next one i'm going to talk, talk to you about now is called django snippet so come over here django snippets so this is the third vs code extension for your django project instance so it's called django snippets so click on it so okay here it is now so it says it's a collection of useful snippets for django frameworks i'm going to explain how this works i'll go down to my models of PyFi. okay over here now let's assume i want to create a new model so with django snippets it's, it's you can do this super you can do this very very easily just come down here and type model and once you type model just press enter or tab on your keyboard so enter or tab so i'm going to press enter you can see it has given me a model template you understand it has given me a model template to use so i'll just come here and just start declaring my fields one by one you get so everything everything has been made easy for me you get so these are django snippet works it works for it it does this for i'm gonna i'm gonna show you also in my admin.py I could just come over here and type in model admin model admin okay enter you can see this you can see it helps do these things very very easily for you so for you to be sure of the other things it can do if you just come down to the extension page so you can see it says char field foreign key the save the view list view with django snippets it can help you provide a starter template for you instance let's go and see the views let's try view now and see how it goes v i e w enter you can see how it does now we don't need to stress it it, it, it gave us of the view in class based form so with django snippets coding in django has been made quite faster instance you don't need to go down and start typing everything one by one so with django snippets it gives you the template to use quickly I love that. I love that. So that that's so that's about that. So the, the last one is gonna be Django templates. So come over here. Okay, so it's called Django templates. So I think this is it. This first one, Django templates and backend is the first one. Okay, Django templates. I can see DJ Nero. I'm, I'm gonna check that. I think I have it installed, so I'm gonna check it out. So Django templates now. So I'm gonna explain what this does now. So it, it works mainly in your Django template files instead. So I'm gonna open one of my template files now. Go down to templates and then base.html. Okay, now you can see now I have this block type so end block. I could want to run a for loop now. I could want to say for I could just say for enter with Django templates. This, this has been this this has been generated for me quickly understand so i want to do a load static l o a b and i put in okay sorry i think it's not load static you can see now it's helps me do this swiftly this is because of django templates understand so if you could, i want to do a csrf token just come here csrf so enter does django templates at work hope you understood so that is jungle templates for you so go back to the extension page go click on this panel you can see i'm seeing i'm, I'm seeing an extension called digenero so it's called jungle snippet 2 let's see that i've, I've not used it before i don't know if i've used it before but i can see i have it installed again so let's see what it does you can see it says admin view class okay i won't try this before but you can try it out and see what it does instead so i recommend you just install it install it just install the extension called ggenero 
it's gonna help you one way or the other without you even knowing you understand? so so that's that so that's for this video so if you gain some value do well to subscribe to the channel so thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye